And today we're coming back to my review channel. For today, I'm chilling with Jay Gleazy. And he, and he said that he wants to do a food review with me. So here we go. We got some of these here. Pocky Haunted Ghost Pepper Potato Chips. I don't know if I'm ready for it either. I wanted to do the California Reaper. I couldn't find it. I know that you recommended me to try it. It didn't yeah. happen. So I got these from 7-Eleven. They're not quite California Reaper, but they advertise that they are freaking hot. So, friggin' hot. You see? Judging by the picture, I would imagine that it's going to be a very, very hot. And we also have cool two water bottles. They are Target water bottles. Smart water. Haunted ghost pepper. Light, crispy, and freaking hot. <laughs> Witness the haunted ghost pepper, the scariest of them all. These chips will terrify your taste buds. Ours are still hiding under the bed. That's funny. There's literally a warning. A little warning thing they give you. Nice, there's the nutrition facts right here, just in case you get that. In case you were wondering how much they're gonna be. Wait, hold on, let me see real quick. They're gluten free. <laughs> gluten free spicy snack for those of you glutenoids out there. Glutenoids, salute to you, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Let me just mention myself personally, I'm not too big of a fan of spicy foods. It's interesting to me how spicy things can freaking get, so this should be interesting. Do you want the fresh chip or you want me to grab a chip? We gotta eat one at, at the same time. Uh, yeah, I'll eat one too. Make sure they're full. This one has a little chip off of it, no pun intended. Okay, come I on. grabbed the one that had a lot of seasoning Ooh, that has on a it. Lot of, let me grab one that has a lot. Gotta have a lot of seasoning on it, so that way you're able to get as much. Oh yeah! Oh, oh, that's my gonna God. burn. <laughs> that's gonna burn. Yeah! Let's Cheers. do this. Cheers! Cheers! Wish us luck. Mm. Well, wow. how do you feel? Definitely a tingly feeling on the tongue immediately. These are, they're pretty hot. And the more that you eat it, I feel it intensifying. Mm. I wouldn't say though, it's completely, I would put this up there with like <clears throat> Buffalo Wild Wings, the blazing sauce in all honesty. Maybe. It's Almost. pretty spicy. Yeah, <clears throat> it is spicy. Definitely a feeling on the tongue that's like, it's not unbearable, but it's like, Almost it's pins hot. and needles in a way. I feel it on my lips now, which is <clears throat> strange. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I think it's pretty good. I'll eat it. Yeah, it's not bad. But I know you're supposed to drink milk. I know water probably is not what I should be drinking with this, but I'm going to drink some water anyway, just to say if that intensifies the burns? Yes, if it does. So I'll let you guys know. Don't drink water. Or he'll let you know don't drink water, but we'll drink water together. Cheers, my friend. If he goes down, I go down. Nope, water cleans the palate, so you wouldn't have to worry yeah. about that spiciness. So if you do get these chips, if the spiciness does get you, make sure you have a water bottle with you. So for taste, I think they're pretty hot. I wouldn't necessarily say that they're like blazing buffalo wild wings now after having a couple of them, but I definitely think it is a spiciness to it. If you would like enjoy spicy foods, Cajun, maybe like some Jamaican jerk, other things like that that are normally spicy curry food. I know some Thailand food are also curry, uh, is also spicy. So if you enjoy those foods, you definitely would enjoy this food. Uh, if you're looking for a sweet taste, you won't find that with these chips. This isn't like a sweet chili where it's a little bit sweet beforehand. It's spicy all the way out. So, if you enjoy a spicy taste, you gotta get yourself a bag of these. It's good. I like them. So, for if, if you had to do a rating on like a, a, a on one, yeah, an eight. All right, we'll go no, with an no, eight. No, no, I said on heat. Uh, yeah, on heat. On the heat scale. On the heat scale. Um. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably go with like a. On the on seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay, so this is a seven and a half. So this is average, but not yet quite 
completely over the top. Yeah. So that's something that you can definitely look forward to. I with can that. handle it, which if I can handle it, probably Most everybody can because I'm not really a big fan of spice to begin with. But it definitely is hot. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a satisfactory rating on it. On the presentation, I do like how the packaging on it, it is, you know, relatively nice. It's not like a, a Doritos bag where it's like foily on the inside. It's got almost what looks like to be like a baked packaging on the inside. If you've ever gotten baked chips before, it comes in that packaging as well. So it's definitely a chip made from a company that's trying to present their product with a little bit of class. So I definitely am pretty happy with this. As always though, guys, if you enjoyed this review, make sure you guys give us a thumbs up. As always, check the description box. I'll have a link to Jay Gleazy's channel so that way you guys can check out some of his content. He has a couple of uh, cool videos where he's feeding a snake and he's doing, uh, what is it, Family Fun Day? Oh, Sunday, Sunday Fun Day. Sunday Fun Day. You know, we just do random stuff, but it's all good. Sunday Fun Day. So definitely check him out for more content as well. As always, like I said before, make sure you guys subscribe in the corners and you ring the bell. Daily uploads, one in the morning, one in the evening, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. You guys be good, be safe. Later, Later taters. taters. <laughs>